with um, me making now previews for the games, at least for those last eight games, um, it's kind of a little bit, yeah, superfluous to have uh, the jersey review and preview for the next round, but I still thought I'm gonna do it because uh, it saved me last time. I made my official preview already and I wanna do it now too. Uh, and then I found out a detail, namely the one that Uruguay was the home team and not France. And yeah, that's why. Let's do it anyway. It will be a relatively short video because we don't have that much to review. Uh, but I have had quite some trouble picking the jersey matchups uh, for the two semifinals. It's not as clear cut as it actually should be. Hence my confidence numbers below are not that that high. But yeah, you already know uh, by now who are the favorites in the two semifinals. Um, just give you a little bit more detail on what's the chances for overtime. And I will also go right after that to make a match preview for France against Belgium. Uh, that's a little bit more detail. But uh, let's first make a review of the jersey matchups in the quarterfinals. A little bit of look ahead of what I think how the semifinals will look, at, look like. And, um, yeah, let's go right to it. Yes, here we are, the quarterfinal matchups. And in case you have not seen my preview for Uruguay France, I realized that Uruguay is the home team, and hence I had to change this matchup. And it was just less than 20 before the quarterfinals kick kicked off. And therefore, yeah, I got it right. And yes, at this quarterfinals I have a spotless record for once, but it's only four games. And so, yeah, I don't, again, don't take too much credit for that, but still, I'm happy that I got all four of them right in the end. Um, I was very happy to see Russia play in red. It made a whole lot of sense to me. And yeah, this will also be the guidance for what's going to happen. England should have worn white pants. Yeah, they're going for the all red look now. It's not bad. It's just a, it has a bit more personality if it's if they have white pants. Uh, Belgium, Brazil. Again, it's an all red look, but it uh, looked better. I still think France could have played in their dark jerseys, but uh, the matchup itself looks quite nice. Um, but I think both could have played in their first choice kits. But we always saw Uruguay play, play France in. Light blue versus white at all World Cups where they met so far. Um, of course, France was favorite going through, winning also regulation. The big shocker was Belgium. That was the only upset that, that we had here. Um, we have England was, all, was also favored, moved on in regulation. And then we had one overtime game, so we had... Uh, a not so likely outcome here, but in the end, the favored and also better team went through. So let's look ahead for the semifinals again. This is subject to change uh, from a preview video, so although I don't think I will change from Belgium. If I get anything different, I will make probably a short uh, second video. France Belgium. I can see three possible matchups. France is the home team, so I think France should play in their dark blue jerseys. And now I can see them wearing either an all dark blue combo against the Belgian red. Um, but I also figured that if they wear their classic kit, dark blue, white pants, red socks, Belgium could very well wear their away kit, yellow, black, black. And that's what I really want to see. Um, I admit... I went through all the combinations and I really think that this is the one that would make most sense in many ways. Um, but it's also the one I want to see most. I also think a reason why I chose this matchup is that even if France plays in a dark blue shirt, dark blue pants, their red socks would clash with Belgium's uh, all red kit. Now, we have already seen France wear blue socks against Australia, so for that reason I wouldn't be surprised if they pull out a totally all blue look uh, against an all red look. Um, that would probably 
the second choice I would have, although it's not a look I like, but this is the one I want to see and I actually think it has a strong chance of uh, showing. Uh, the last version is, and I think it's least likely, just because of the fact that France is the home team. Uh, France playing all white, Belgium playing in all red. Uh, probably the cleanest matchup between those two. And the fourth choice, and I don't play anything, is that uh, both in their away kits. All possibilities. I've been agonizing over this since, yeah, um, basically, not, I don't want to say the whole day, yes, yes, but whenever I think about this matchup, I've been agonizing, and the one I want to see is the one pictured here. I think that one would look best. Um, I can see dark blue against red as well, uh, since we also will see this in the second semifinal. And here, yeah, I have been uh, going back and forth, and it's very similar to Croatia versus Russia. Croatia has no other choice but wearing their dark kits, unfortunately. Now, England could play in white, and this would, at least from a jersey matchup, be um, with contrast, enough contrast. However, they have the dark blue pants. So either England goes with an all white kit or they play in all red. I think they will play in all red. They have had success with the red so far. I can even see that unless Belgium makes it to the final. Uh, unless we have the projected uh, Belgium England find out England will play in red from now on. I can very well see this. Yeah, so these are my thoughts on the jersey matchups. Again, if I think there will be a change, I, or if I convince myself otherwise, I will update. But I think this is how things will go. We'll actually see three second choice kits here if my predictions go right. I think England will play in all red against um, dark blue Croatia. Um, I don't see the all white kit being pulled out. However, who knows? It might also be an interesting matchup to see that. Uh, as for favorites, if you watched my um, uh, last stats video, Belgium very slightly favored over France. I mean, you can even see the probabilities here for a straight win. Uh, uh, for regulation, uh, there's almost no difference here. Um, it's a little bit clearer for Croatia versus England, um, with England being 56 to 44 percent, roughly, but still close matchup. So, yeah, will be interesting to see. Let me know your thoughts, especially what you think how the teams will play, and hit like if, uh, if you go on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more updates and I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.